After conducting final drill, the recruits will have completed phase two of the training cycle. Now, they will begin to pack up all their belongings and head up north to Weapons Field Training Battalion aboard Camp Pendleton, California. The completion of first and second phase give the recruits the momentum needed for them to accomplish the physically and mentally demanding tasks ahead of them at Camp Pendleton. During first phase, the recruits have overcome many obstacles. Introduction to physical fitness, military history, and tactical combat casualty care make up the majority of what the recruits learn in first phase. Second phase, it's really all about making those civilians that were turned into recruits into better recruits and further ingrain the military and Marine Corps lifestyle on those individuals. This recruit uh, believes boot camp is about growth. This recruit's learned a lot about teamwork and depending on other people and other people depending on you, keeping each other accountable is really important even when drill instructors aren't around. So we act correctly and learn how to be Marines. This recruit is excited, <laughs> nervous. He knows it's gonna be kind of nerve wracking going into a new environment, how to adapt quick but he's ready for the challenge today. Upon arrival to MCRD, recruits may be physically fit from countless hours training, but they aren't always mentally ready for boot camp. The mental preparation is equally important, but frequently overlooked. Every now and then, even the toughest, most motivated recruit will ask themselves, why am I here? Is this really worth it? Recruits will struggle emotionally and psychologically, but that's all normal. In fact, it's healthy. In the military, we look adversity in the eye, determine ourselves to push beyond it and overcome. We encourage recruits to actively think about how they will handle the stress, then make a plan for those moments when they start to question their reason why. The strongest recruits have a goal. Maybe it's to walk across the parade deck at graduation to make their families proud or to challenge themselves harder than ever before. Then they visualize that goal, focus their efforts, and achieve more than they ever thought possible, mentally and physically. During week one at Weapons Field Training Battalion, the recruits will participate in Grass Week. During Grass Week, the recruits are indoctrinated in the Marine Corps Marksmanship Program, which makes the Marine Corps so successful in battles. During week two, the recruits will take all the information they learned in Grass Week and apply it during Firing Week. The recruits will actually take their weapons and live ammunition, go out onto the range, and participate in the combat marksmanship program. During week three, the recruits will move into a field environment. While they're out in the field, the recruits will learn topics such as land nav, fire and maneuver, and will also expand on what we learned previously in terms of hiking. At the end of the crucible, the recruits will participate in a 13K hike. This will be the most physically demanding challenge of recruit training. Once the recruits reach the top, they will be awarded their Eagle, Globe, and Anchors. And earn their title, United States Marine.